Hey guys, I had several emails asking, hey, how do I get the Microsoft AdventureWorks database so that I can perform the same steps that's in our Database Administration Fundamentals course? So I went ahead and came up with some steps, and I want to share th those with you guys now and show you how to do that install into your Microsoft SQL Server version. So let's take a look at the steps now. You need to download a database for your SQL Server version. We're going to unzip those files, make sure we have the LDF and MDF files. If you only have the MDF files, it's not going to work. So we're going to copy those files into our SQL Server uh, data folder that we've that was installed when we installed our Microsoft SQL Server. And the location should typically be in your program files, SQL Server, whatever server name you gave your server, the MSSQL folder, and then in the data folder, which is where you should see. Uh, if you've already created a database or whatever, that is typically the path. just depends on when you did the install of Microsoft SQL Server. Then we're going to open up our SQL Management Studio. From there, we're going to connect to whatever server instance we want to and uh, that we've created. We're going to go to Databases, right-click that. We're going to click Attach, click the Add button. Then we're going to locate those files that we copied into our folder up here. We'll click OK twice and we should see our databases. Let's take a look at that now. Like I said, our first step is to actually download the AdventureWorks databases. So here's where I went to get the downloads. And since I have the 2008 R2 version installed on my virtual machine, I downloaded the, the R2 version. You can see you have LT if you're using the light version of SQL Server. So I just went ahead and downloaded the R2 version and I'll show you that in the files. Once you download and unzip the files, you'll see that you have your MDF and LDF files that you're going to need to import or attach to your server. So let's go ahead and look at that install now.
as you can see everything installed fine we're able to do everything we need to do now using our SQL statements from the Microsoft Adventure Works database. Thanks guys for following along and have a great time and practicing with all your SQL statements and working with Microsoft SQL Server.